We're standing here at the entrance to the Martin Luther King Library. The Martin Luther King Library is a combined library between the San Jose University, San Jose, excuse me, San Jose State University and the San Jose City. The hours to this library, we're gonna walk in right now, are Monday through Friday during the semesters. We'll open at nine and close at nine to the public, but the San Jose State students will be able to use the library until midnight. That's Monday through Thursday. On Friday, it's a nine to six. Saturday, we're open from nine to six, and Sunday from one to seven, also with study hours for the students up until midnight. Here we have our security stations. Right over here, we have a computer instruction lab. We'll be utilized by different librarians who'll be instructing some of the students in their, some of our services. Here we have a display of different events in the library that go on every day. Where we're heading now is toward the circulation desk where you would get your library card and check out material. In order to get a library card as a San Jose State student, you must show us your SJSU ID card and then you come up here and they will give you the library card which will enable you to check out books. Also here, this is where you would come to get your reserve material. These are course, these are pieces of material that are placed on reserve by the professors and usually checked out for hourly time limits, two hours, sometimes a day, sometimes three days. Off here, here we have computers that are available for the for people who do not have library cards. These are only like 15 minutes of time and a couple of catalogs. We also have on this floor a welcome desk where you can learn information. If you're not sure about where to go when you first come in, they can direct you right here. And over here, CDs, new books, et cetera. The children's room is right there. And that's basically what you have here on the first floor. Here we are at the lower level of the library. One of the first things that you see when you come out of the elevators here is our student computer center. And this, as you can see by the hours of operation, they are open Monday through Thursday. This will be 9 o'clock to 9, and Friday from 9 to 5, 30, and Saturday also 9 to 6. Now, this is where you can check out a laptop. Computers are available to you as a San Jose State student on every floor, 2 through 5, for uh, 2 hours per day. 2 hours at one time on the fourth floor, 1 hour on the other floors. But if you need more computer time, you can check out these. You'll have to have a library card in order to do so. Once again, you get your library card on the first floor. We're up on the second floor now. This floor is accessible by either elevator, stairwell, or the escalator. This is our reference floor. It's a combined reference desk with the public library and the SJSU librarians manning the desk right over here. You can receive any sort of reference services that you need here. Usually, they will open about an hour after the library itself opens. Also on this floor, you have the Adaptive Technology Center for the disabled students here on campus, and this is run in conjunction with the DRC, or the Disabled Center on campus. There's above us on the third floor another service desk, but that's the public library desk, although certainly you can use that to access information. There are terminals on this floor where you can look up books, etc. We're still on the second floor, the reference floor, but I'm standing here at one of the copy corners where you can buy a print card if you happen to not have your SJSU card. If you have your SJSU card, money that is placed on that can be used for printing purposes. Let me just take you over here to the copy center. Over here, as you can see, you have the card value center where you put money on, on the gold card. These are for people who do not have SJSU IDs, change machines, copiers, etc. In terms of printing in the library, you can, each floor has its own printer, has a section of printers, and you can, they are networked. So if you happen to print to uh, go to a computer, save your documents, send it to the print station, it can be printed at any place in the library. So you're not held just to that floor. So here in these one place you can buy a card, if, for instance, you don't have your SJSU ID card, it's gonna cost you 17 cents per page in order to print something. 
I'm still on the second floor here at reference, but I may as well be on any floor because we do have group, uh, we do have study rooms on every single floor. These study rooms are bookable on the reserve a computer slash study room part of the uh, library's website. As you can see right here, it tells you how to make these reservations. You'll be issued a receipt at the time. You can do this even from home. If you go to sjlibrary.org and see reserve a comp computer, you can reserve. You can only reserve for one hour. Okay, but the floor, we have these on every floor up through 8th, the 8th floor. Hi, we're up on the fourth floor now, and this is where the escalator trail ends. You can access this floor by elevator, stairway, and escalator, as I said. What, reasons you might be up on this floor, number one is, this is the one floor where you can have a computer access for up to two hours at one time. Once again, you would be reserving a computer, or sometimes you can just sit down at one if we're not too busy. The other reason would be you would come up here if you had made an appointment to meet your subject specialist, the librarian who is versed in the subject that you are studying here. You can uh, find out the name of this librarian either by talking to people down at the reference desk who will be glad to show that information, or else by going on the library website, sjlibrary.org, where you click on your subject, it will tell you who is that librarian. You would come to the admin, or well, you make your appointment, come to admin, and they'll come out and meet you and be glad to talk to you. We're back on the first floor, and I want to show you one, a couple of last things. Right here by the welcome desk, where as I said before, you can uh, obtain information about where to other places to go in the library in, if you happen to be confused. But here are our self-checks. This is where you can check books out yourself. They're very easy to use, and you won't have to then stand in a long line in order to get the material you need. Right behind me over here, too, is where you can look up your course reserves here online, where you can reserve a computer, pay your fines, or also look up the library I'm here now at the city entrance to the library. As I've said before, we are a combined library with the city. However, as a student, you do have a couple of different privileges that the city borrowers do not. One, of course, is the extended hours during the semester and then during finals when we are actually open 24 hours a day. Um, I believe it's four nights, sometimes five, during the time of finals. Now, during that time, you'll also be able to get a cup of coffee here at the On Fourth Cafe, where they serve a large variety of nutritious foods, not to mention having an ATM machine as well. This then is the city entrance, and that's about it. We hope that you uh, come here often and use it, use all of our services as best you can, and come and see us a lot. Thank you.